This is just a skinny girl flex for you. <laughs> they will get bigger. Let me prove it to you. Kim Townsville here. Remember it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share this video if appropriate. These are just some photos of how my arms got bigger as I progressed in my training with my powerlifting. The one on the top left, of course, is the beginning. And then the one on the bottom was the most recent. Do you have to go to a gym to work out? No. Do you even have to wear gym clothes to work out? No. I'm going to show you what I do while I'm getting ready, while I'm waiting for videos to get uploaded, when I'm just, sometimes in the wintertime when I'm cold and I want to warm up. I just do this um, series of arm exercises. <clears throat> I'm in the middle of getting ready to go to work. I used to go do 17 of these. Put them out of shape. Bad out of shape. I haven't been to the gym in a couple of months. Been trying to get a um, muscle in my glute and a nerve going down the back of my leg fixed. And I think today my massage therapist got it fixed. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna get back in the gym, start training for a powerlifting meet in October. I'm either gonna have to up my weight that I move or I'm gonna have to lose about eight pounds to compete in the 105 pound weight class. Which one do you think I should do? I think since I'm an old woman and I already have state records in the 123 weight class and the 114 weight class, I should give up the blizzards, lose the weight. As long as I show up and move any metal, I'll have Alabama records for USPA for 105 weight class from my age in Classic Raw. One more 12. Ah. The key to these, what I've learned is not to think of it as an arm exercise, but to try to get my shoulder blades to touch in my lower back. This is about the only thing that helps me get those striations in my shoulder there. That doesn't hurt my shoulder. And I've forgotten how many I'm doing, so. Ooh. I think I forgot to do these the first time. I'm excited to get back in the gym. This is one of my favorite ones because I have old lady underarms. <laughs> I usually do it with a heavier weight when I do a circuit at the gym, but once I've done those three exercises, my arms are pretty fatigued, and I figure doing this at the end of a little arm exercise, something's better than nothing, right? That's just my theory on exercising. Something's better than nothing if you do it right and don't hurt yourself. Even if you exercise only for a minute, 
this is only going to be about two minutes. You're better off than you were before you started. Just don't hurt yourself. There's no need to hurt yourself. Fitness is about being fit, not beating somebody else's numbers. Sometimes not even beating your own numbers. This is for Trey57 who reminds us that we can work out at home. No excuses. Thanks for watching. Remember it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, share the video if appropriate, and let's just do something good for ourselves. Bye. No excuses. Till next time. Well, that was fun. I'm definitely warmer than I was when I started. Let's get ready for work.